These big boy barbecue beef meatball dishes have over a thousand calories and 55 grams of protein to help you get stacked. Or, you know, just to eat for lunch or whatever. Turns out many of you guys in the comments were jonesing for some more high calorie meal prep. So I said, sir, yes, sir, sergeant. And I made this one. Let me show you how it's done. Start by throwing on some rice. In this recipe, I used one and a half cups or 270 grams of dry rice. That should yield you about four cups or 650 grams of cooked rice, depending on the kind of rice and preparation you use. Next, cut five medium russet potatoes or 1,000 grams into wedges. You can go any shape you want for these. The point is just to get some chopped potatoes for fries. I prefer the wedge shape for meal prep because for whatever reason, a thicker potato tends to last better in the fridge. Transfer all of your cut potatoes over into a large bowl and add in two tablespoons or 30 grams of oil and some salt and pepper to your liking. Toss those wedges around in the bowl so that all of the oil and seasonings are well distributed across the surfaces of each of those potato wedges. Then you'll want to get out a big ass sheet pan or if you don't have a large one, two smaller ones and spray it lightly with some oil. Dump your wedges on top and arrange them nicely so that one of the flat sides is in contact with the pan. I'm going to roast these in the oven, but using the air fryer for potatoes is almost always my preferred method. It's just easier to get good browning. But no worries if you don't have an air fryer, you can just use the oven like I am here. These are going to get roasted at 400 Fahrenheit or 204 Celsius for about 20 to 25 minutes. Next up, we've got a small amount of vegetable chopping to perform, starting with one medium red onion or 200 grams worth that we're going to cut into thin slices. I'm also going to add about 5 ounces or 140 grams of spinach into this recipe for some nutrients. This will wilt down and not take up too much volume, but first I have to sort through it and pick away all these small leaves because they look different than the rest and the thought of having to eat one makes my insides feel funny. Seriously, what are those? Get the hell out of there. Next, I'm just gonna pass a knife through it a couple of times to break it up into smaller pieces. If you wanted to leave this spinach out, nobody's gonna blame you. Like I said, it's just in here for some extra micronutrition. And finally, it's a time to make the meatball. JK, these aren't Italian meatballs. These are Texas meatballs. To a large bowl, add two pounds or 908 grams of 90-10 ground beef, and then crack in two whole eggs. Next, I added a third of a cup or 40 grams of oat flour to act as my breadcrumbs to help the meatballs retain moisture. If you don't want to make any oat flour, you can also toss in the whole oat or just use regular breadcrumbs. Follow that up with one and a half teaspoons or nine grams of salt, one teaspoon or three grams of black pepper, two teaspoons or six grams of onion powder, two teaspoons or six grams of garlic powder, and two tablespoons or 30 grams of barbecue sauce. Get in there with your hands and stir that around to mix in the seasonings and eggs. Be sure to break up any chunks of the beef so that you get as close to a homogenous mixture of beef, eggs, and seasonings as possible. Doing this is going to provide you with a softer meatball. Once everything is incorporated, lay out a baking sheet, spray it with some oil, and begin to form your meatballs. I use a 1 ounce or 30 gram cookie scoop to make this process easier. Giving it a light spritz of oil can make the meatballs fall out a bit smoother. Now from here, I'll just use my cookie scoop to create my meatball shapes and plop it down on the sheet pan, ensuring to leave enough space between each meatball to promote better browning. You'll want to use two sheet pans instead of overcrowding one if you don't have the space. It's going to make your meatballs better in the end. Once you've used up all of your meat mixture and have a couple of trays full of shaggy meatballs, coat your hands with a bit of oil or water and toss the meatballs between your hands for a couple of seconds to round them off into shape. When they're all ready to go, you can move these into the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 204 Celsius for about 20 minutes. At this point, my potato wedges have been roasting for 15 minutes, so I pulled those from the oven after I put the meatballs inside and turned them over to the other side to get equal browning. If you're going to cook the potato wedges and the meatballs in the oven at the same time, I would recommend having the potatoes on the bottom most shelf of your oven. Keeping them on the bottom shelf is going to prevent them from being subjected to the steam from the meatballs and allow them to brown more easily. These will go back in for another 5-10 to 10 minutes to finish up. If you're watching this video, which I know you are, go hit the like button and subscribe or else my boss is going to brutally beat me. Thank you. Now, let's whip up the rice. In a large skillet over medium high heat, add in one tablespoon or 15 grams of oil and throw in your sliced red onions after. Let these onions cook for about three minutes or until they start browning up and softening. Next, add the chopped spinach and stir it around in the heat so it can wilt down. Then add in one 15 and a half ounce can or 439 grams of pinto beans that have been drained and rinsed. Mix these into your spinach and onions before dumping in all of the rice you made earlier. If you're using frozen or pre-made rice, add about four cups or 650 grams here. Follow that up with 2 teaspoons or 6 grams each of garlic powder and paprika, 2 teaspoons or 2 grams of dried oregano, and salt and pepper to taste. This rice and bean combo is a nice way to bulk up the caloric load of the meal while still keeping things cost efficient. The rice is done, and at this time, my potatoes are now finished, so both of these can be placed aside until I'm ready to plate the final meals. The meatballs have been roasting for about 20 minutes and are now ready to go. 
a little fly for all you cats. If you wanted to take these out midway through the cooking process and turn them to the other side for more browning, that is an option for you, but it's not a requirement. I consolidated all the meatballs on one tray and placed them into a big pile. Then I drizzled over one fourth of a cup or 60 grams of barbecue sauce. They get a little tossy toss in the saucy sauce. And then once they are coated, you are ready to plate. This recipe will make you five servings. Lay down five of your meal prep containers and get to dividing your work into each of them. Split the rice and potatoes evenly five ways and give each dish the same number of meatballs. I ended up with 30 total meatballs, but your mileage may vary depending on how big or small you made yours. I'm guessing there are some of you here right now saying, what the funk? Why am I still washing this? I don't need a thousand calorie meals. And the good news for all of you is that you can still make this meal, just cut out all the rice and keep it to the meatballs and potatoes, and you've got yourself a more regularly sized meal. I'll be sure to include a version for this with the recipe on my website where you can find the nutritional information if that's more your style. I finished up by garnishing the top of the meatballs with a little bit of chopped parsley. This step is probably completely useless for you. Each serving of these big boy barbecue beef meatballs has about 1,019 calories and 55 grams of protein. Once these meals cool down a bit, you can throw on the lids and move them into your fridge where they will last for up to five days. Let's have a quick chat about the reheating process. I'm often asked when I put potatoes in meals how I keep them crispy in the microwave. The answer is you can't. That's impossible. If you want to have crispy potatoes, you're going to have to use your air fryer or the oven to reheat them. I put mine in the air fryer at 425 for about five to six minutes. I personally have no problem reheating the potatoes in the microwave and I still think they taste awesome. It's obviously up to you what you want to do. Included in the nutritional estimates for this recipe, I accounted for an extra one tablespoon or 15 grams of barbecue sauce to go over the top of the meatballs for each meal. I was also sure to add in two tablespoons or 30 grams of ketchup for the potatoes in each of the five meals. Trying to bulk up and put on muscle is not an easy thing to do. If you want to gain weight that's actual tissue, the most important factor is to get the nutrition side of the equation correct. The amount of energy that you take in and absorb through food needs to be greater than the amount of energy that you expend through your daily living and exercise. If you sustain a caloric surplus and you pair that with a good resistance training program, you will almost surely gain muscle, especially if you're a beginner. There's nothing particularly special about this meal that makes it great for gaining muscle. It's just calorie dense. Sure, it's got a good dose of protein and lots of carbs, but any of the recipes that you see on my channel or website can be used to help you gain muscle. If they're not calorically dense enough, it's very easy to add an apple and a couple tablespoons of peanut butter at the end of your meal to get you where you need to be. The written version of the recipe for these big boy barbecue beef meatballs with all the instructions and ingredients listed is posted on my website and I've linked that down below in the description. This one will probably take you around an hour to finish. You could maybe save a little bit of time by forming the meat mixture into five small meat loaves instead of 30 individual meatballs. Just slice the meat loaves before reheating and you've got practically the same meal. If you're looking for other high calorie meals to help you with muscle gain, check out these two videos as well. Sayonara big dogs.